Today we're talking about the most dangerous lie you could possibly tell. How's it going guys? Dr. Tech Farm D here, board certified practicing medicine specialist and personal health coach, helping action takers like you take back control of their lives and emotional health so they can feel better and be better. And although I am a practicing medicine specialist, I'm not your specialist. So if you have any questions regarding your condition, please see your doctor. Don't forget to click subscribe so you get the latest updates on our weekly videos. Let's get into it. Have you ever done something that you knew was wrong, but you tried to rationalize it to yourself, telling yourself it's okay, and you told yourself so often that you believed it? That's the lie that you were telling yourself. We all lie. Well, sometimes we have the urge to lie. Some of us more than others, and some of them more damaging than others. But the most damaging lie you could ever tell is the one you tell yourself. And this is dangerous because we make life decisions based on the things we tell ourselves. And if it's a lie, then we could be headed down the wrong path. Sometimes we could have misinformation and that's understandable. We could correct it. Maybe we were told something incorrectly and we acted out on it. But when we lie to ourselves, it's something that we know isn't true, but we still say it. And these repeated statements are highly dangerous because they affect our self-esteem and confidence. The lie you tell yourself is the repeated statement that isn't substantiated. In K.M. Wyland's book, Creating Character Arc, this is called the lie the character believes. In the movie Toy Story, Woody believes that his status and value comes from being Andy's favorite figure. When Buzz comes in, he challenges his social status. Woody feels his social status is threatened by the appearance of Buzz, and he does everything possible to try to eliminate him. In Black Panther, T'Challa believes that in order to be a good king, he must protect his country from the entire world and shield its existence from them. It isn't until Killmonger arrives that he realizes the problems of the outside world and Wakanda have been interlaced since his father. In Kung Fu Panda, Tai Lung believed that he was destined to be the dragon warrior. He was raised as a powerful warrior so powerful that his adopted father told him he was destined to be the dragon warrior. Tai Lung sacrificed his own happiness and goals in pursuit of this one goal, just to make his father happy. These stories highlight how lies that we tell ourselves can affect our entire lives and the people around us. They could quickly turn us away from doing the good things that we need to do. Like all internal problems, fixing this comes from first being aware of the problem. But that's where it gets a little tricky. Because the lie that we tell ourselves isn't something we're even aware is a lie. That's why it's so important to hang out with people who are regularly in your life who will challenge what you think and say. It's important that these people don't put up with your bull One of the biggest problems with the lie that you believe is that some people are stubborn to change their beliefs. Because change means that they were wrong and it would mean they would have to change themselves internally. And nobody really wants to change because it's difficult. What they end up doing is they surround themselves with people who also believe the lie, which only reinforces it. Or they hang out with people who will not challenge what they say or do. Another big problem with the lie that we tell ourselves is that when somebody challenges that belief we have, we take it as an attack. And the only way we feel we can respond is by attacking back or by running away. But there's a third option, and it's something that's much more difficult. It's that you have to accept that there is another reality. There's a reality outside of what you believe, and that maybe what you're believing is not the truth. Now there are various approaches on how to deal with the lie that we tell ourselves. Wyland says that when we look at characters, we want to make sure we know what drives them, what they desire. This is important because this is the main point and focus of everybody's life. Once we find out what they desire, we can find out what the route that they take to get to that desire is. Wyland says that once you find out what the route and desires are, then you can start asking questions. Questions like, how can you approach it differently? Is this the wrong approach? How are you clinging to your old beliefs? What are you using to support your old beliefs? These are all questions that can challenge the false beliefs that you have. Therapist John Kim has a protocol on how to approach false beliefs once you've already established them. 
first thing you want to do is to listen for false beliefs. What is the self-talk that you have, particularly when you make a mistake? In other words, what are the things you say to yourself when you make an error? Do you tell yourself you're stupid, you're not going to make it as a human, you don't deserve good things? Or do you tell yourself things that are substantiated by fact, like everyone makes mistakes? Is this something you could learn from and improve? The second thing he says to do is to dissolve and redefine the false beliefs. How would you change the belief? How would you prove your beliefs are wrong? Would you substantiate it with facts? Would the counter argument make more sense? Bring up your beliefs to other people. See if they challenge it. And if they do, don't take it offensively. You wanna make sure you say your values and beliefs out loud so that you either reaffirm them or question them if they don't sound right to you. And the third thing he says to challenge your beliefs is to set up new experiences. Imagine yourself with a new belief. This shows you a mental picture of what the alternative is to what you currently believe. In addition, it reinforces this alternative vision. One of the most important things to take from this is that there are almost no absolute truths because there's almost an exception for every rule. Just because everyone believes something doesn't necessarily make it true either. Because there was a time where they thought the earth was flat or that electricity was magic. You actually think you're the Buzz Lightyear? You can only verify that something is false, but you can't absolutely prove something is absolutely 100% truth. What do you guys think? What are some of the lies that you used to believe and tell yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're struggling with any of this and need extra help, check out the Emotional RX program, where I provide you tools that help you deal with your emotions, such as someone challenging your beliefs and not taking it offensively. I have clients who are struggling with their emotions, their self-confidence, and with these tools, they were able to recover themselves quickly and immediately. Check out the link for more information down below. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and until next time, guys, be healthy.